Hello, and welcome to Select 10. Amid the glittering spectacle of major blockbusters, certain gems in the constantly growing field of action films shine strongly, but frequently go unrecognized. These 10 overlooked outstanding films are equivalent to even the biggest box office smashes in terms of suspenseful thrills, adrenaline rushes, and engaging storylines. These choices highlight the best 10 action films that are underappreciated, and that every fan of the genre needs to be watching. Now let's start the video. Number 10. Mandy. It is a 2018 action horror film, directed by Panos Cosmatos. The story centers on Red Miller, and his partner, Mandy Bloom, whose calm life is disturbed, when Mandy attracts the attention of a crazy cult founder named Jeremiah Sand, who leads a loyal following of followers who ride monster motorbikes throughout the countryside, and worship a strange god. Interested in Mandy, Jeremiah instructs his men to capture her, resulting in a vicious and terrible encounter. Following this scenario, Red becomes enraged, and sets out on an intense trip through a chaotic environment, fighting the followers of the cult, and their otherworldly helpers, in an attempt to retrieve Mandy. The film's striking cinematography, moody music, and striking performance by Nicolas Cage are its key points of appeal. It creates a distinct watching experience by fusing heavy metal themes, with aspects of fantasy and horror. For those who prefer emotionally powerful action and an innovative style, Mandy is an enjoyable film. However, its intended brisk pace might not be right for everyone. Number 9. Without Remorse. It is a 2021 action thriller film, directed by Stefano Salima. The story opens with John Kelly, an army commando with exceptional abilities, who returns home from a secret assignment, and gets attacked in his house by unidentified hitmen. As a result, John suffers serious injuries, while his wife, Pam, dies. In the aftermath, John, weighed down by grief and hatred, goes out to find the people guilty to avenge the death of his wife. In the process, he forms alliances with other SEAL officers, and unravels an interplay of political espionage and frightening conspiracies, that have the potential to spark an international disaster. Michael B. Jordan's portrayal of John Kelly adds richness, and emotion to a character motivated by pain, and a persistent quest for vengeance. The plot, nevertheless, occasionally comes across as conventional, because it depends on well-known revenge thriller cliches. Although there are intriguing and suspenseful parts, there are times when the plot lacks the level of detail and precision of Tom Clancy's books. However, the film's action scenes are polished and expertly performed, living up to the promise of heart-pounding thrills. Number 8. Valley of the Dead. It is a 2020 zombie action film, directed by Javier Ruiz Caldera and Alberto de Toro. The film takes place during the Spanish Civil War in 1938, and follows Jan, a captain with the nationalist troops who is assigned an assignment to relay an update to other soldiers in his group. On a journey with an accomplice, Jan witnesses a jet being gunned down, and is apprehended by opponents of his party, while attempting to rescue the pilot. But when the pilot comes back to life, and not in a nice way, they are attacked by zombies and must work together in order to survive while attempting to avoid killing one another. Though it doesn't create anything new, the movie succeeds in delivering the well-known themes, humans taking revenge with headshots, zombies starving for humans, terrifying warfare scenes, and incredibly violent spooky action. In addition to being entertaining, the film offers viewers a chance to learn more about the Spanish Civil War's historical background, which enhances the story. The film maintains its interest throughout thanks to its deft genre blending, providing a fresh take on the well-known zombie movie concept. Number 7. Free Fire. It is a 2016 action comedy film, directed by Ben Wheatley. The plot opens with a team of Irish Republican Army soldiers, led by Frank and Chris, who are making plans to buy weaponry from firearms trader, Vernon, and his colleagues, Ord, and the transaction is scheduled to happen in a desolate warehouse. Meanwhile, tensions escalate as several participants in the trade carry doubts, and vendettas against one another. Things get worse, when one of the hired goons spots someone as the person who attacked his cousin, which leads to a fight involving the two organizations. What ensues is a frenzied and savagely humorous battle for survival, in which the characters have to depend on their skills and reflexes to outsmart their attackers and escape alive. The film offers endless action and clever dialogue in a brutal and wickedly humorous adrenaline ride. It's sort of a satirical tribute to vintage criminal thrillers, with witty conversation, fast-paced action scenes, and a strong ensemble cast that will keep you interested throughout. Number 6. Ambulance. It is a 2022 action thriller film, directed by Michael Bay. The story revolves around former military ranger Will Sharp, who finds himself in a difficult financial situation, resulting from his wife's serious illness. Seeing as he has no other choice, Will goes bank robbing alongside his outlaw brother, Danny Sharp. 
However, when things go terribly wrong, they're forced to take over an ambulance in order to get away. What they initially believe to be a simple getaway becomes a violent pursuit as state police go after them. The problem is that a badly injured patient and a nurse were inside the ambulance. As the plot progresses, Will and Danny have to take drastic measures to end the police pursuit and must navigate Los Angeles's dangerous streets while maintaining patient survival. From beginning to end, the movie offers heart-pounding tension and an action-packed story high on adrenaline. Exhibiting his own style, Michael Bay delivers jaw-dropping scenes and exhilarating set pieces that grab viewers' attention. The plot occasionally defies logic, but the film's non-stop action makes for an exciting journey from start to finish. Number 5. Kill Back Soon. It is a crime action film, directed by Byun Sung Hyun. The story revolves around Bak Soon, the head killer for the MK Group, a covert organization of pro-killers, led by Chairman Cha. Following years of brutal killing, Bak Soon's objectives change to mending her relationship with her young daughter, who is separated from her, so she decides to retire from her work. However, Bak Soon suffers grave consequences when she chooses to put her daughter ahead of her lethal assignment and doesn't finish her most recent task, while the MK Group has no option but to send their ruthless killers to put her down. What comes next are lethal encounters, where Biksoon has to risk all to escape her terrible past, and safeguard herself and her child from the persistent search of her former companions. The plot is a bit typical of a standard assassin gone rogue theme, but what makes it work is how expertly it combines fast-paced action with a moving exploration of the mother-daughter bond. The film explores the individual's emotional journeys, while delivering great action scenes that are masterfully directed. It's a solid action movie, that should be at the top of your list of action movies to watch. Number 4. The Horseman. It is a 2008 vigilante action film, directed by Steven Castricios. The film follows Christian Forteschi, a heartbroken father, whose daughter Jessie dies of a heroin overdose. In the aftermath, Christian gets a distressing video of Jessie, and is motivated to pursue vengeance for her murder, and the hardships she faced. Equipped with an ammunition case, Christian embarks on an intense and unrelenting quest for retribution, causing a path of destruction in his path, as he pursues the individuals accountable for Jesse's demise. Powered by Peter Marshall's stunning performance as the mourning father, Christian Forteschi, the film presents a brutal and deadly revenge drama that delivers a merciless and dramatic tale of despair, regret, and retribution. Beyond merely being a revenge thriller, The Horseman deftly examines how people's psyches react to catastrophe. Deeply exploring themes of loss, atonement, and the never-ending cycle of aggression, it leaves an impact on audiences, even after the final credits have rolled. Number 3. The Hateful Eight. It is a 2015 Western action film, directed by Quentin Tarantino. The story takes place in Wyoming soon after the Civil War, and centers on an eclectic mix of individuals, who are compelled to seek refuge together at a lodge amid a major snowstorm. One of the primary protagonists is John Ruth, a bounty seeker, who is taking Daisy Dahmer, a feared outlaw, to Red Rock, where she will be executed. Along the way, they run into Chris Mannix, an officer claiming to be the newly appointed Red Rock deputy, and Major Marky e. Warren, another bounty collector. Hoping for shelter from the violent storm, the crew visits a rural cottage, where they meet four more outsiders. However, tensions among the strangers grow as the night goes on, and soon they start to worry that one of them might not be exactly who they say they are. As each character's objectives and loyalty are questioned, insecurity, distrust, and bloodshed ensue. Tarantino's signature mix of brutality and grim humor is present in the film, along with a complex story and snappy dialogues. The film is a suspenseful and intriguing examination of ethics, fairness, and the effects of enmity, mainly due to its outstanding ensemble cast and expert directing. Number 2. Dread. It is a 2012 sci-fi action film, directed by Pete Travis. The narrative is set in the enormous and violent cityscape, known as Mega City One, and focus on Judge Dredd, who is sent to assess Cassandra Anderson, a new judge with strong telepathic talents. Together, they are sent to look into a series of murders that occurred in the huge vertical slum known as Peach Trees, which is run by the vicious drug lord Ma Ma. However, as Dredd and Anderson continue their inquiry, they come into contact with Ma Ma and her highly trained goons, and are forced to engage in fatal combat. Caught inside peach trees, they have to battle their way up to Ma Ma's apartment on the highest floor, so they can bring her to authorities for her crimes. The film plays out as a furious and action-packed adventure, with Dredd and Anderson encountering progressively deadly barriers and foes at each step. Along their trip, they face dishonesty, treachery, and the harsh reality of life in Mega City 1. 
Carl Urban's stoic portrayal of the legendary character, combined with the film brutal aesthetic and strong action sequences, create a dark and exciting adaptation of the well-known British comic book series, Judge Dredd, providing a raw and adrenaline-fueled voyage into the future of dystopia. Number 1. The Great Battle. It is a 2018 historical epic action film, directed by Kim Kwang-sik. The film takes place throughout the period of the Tang Dynasty, and portrays the legendary Battle of Anxi, which occurred in 645 AD. The story is centered on the capture of Anxi Fortress, a tactical castle, that separates Tang China from Gaguryeo. At the center of all this is Yang Man Chun, a fearless commander, who oversees the Anxi Castle, and leads a tiny army of Gaguryeo warriors to protect it from the enormous Tang force, led by Yang Zhong. As the Tang troops approach attack on Anxi Castle with huge forces and deadly warfare weaponry, Yang Man Chun and his troops are forced to use all of their cunning and bravery to battle back against the merciless attack. The film depicts an enormous battle between the two forces, highlighting the sacrifices that were made by people who fought on each side, as well as the terrible consequences of the battle. The film features gripping combat sequences, complex tactical maneuvers, and unique experiences of the fighting soldiers, highlighting the concepts of allegiance, dignity, and courage amidst challenging circumstances. The movie has amazing cinematography, strong performances, and an intriguing and immersive perspective on one of the most major disputes in Korean history. For those who enjoy historical and military action films, it is a must-watch. That's it for today. That's it for today. Thank you for watching this video. And do subscribe our channel, to see more videos, related to movies and series suggestions.